The reason why certain people turned to philosophy, why I became a philosopher, was that since I was a little boy, I always felt that existence as such was weird. I mean, here we are. Isn't that odd? Of course it's odd. What do, you, what do you mean by odd? Well, it's what's different from even. I mean, what's odd stands out. What's even lies flat. But you can't see the outstanding without the flat background. Here's the thing standing out. It's odd. Each one of you is odd. Strange, unique, particular, different. How do we know what we mean by that? Except against the background of something even that is not differentiated, like space. And so you get this philosophical itch. You begin to scratch your head and think about why is that so? Well, after a while, you realize that's a meaningless question. And you ask, how is it so? Well, that leads you into science and other investigations. So you want to know, what is it? I mean, this, this happening, this thing called existence, what is it? You ask that question long enough and it suddenly hits you that if you could answer it, you wouldn't know what terms to put the answer in. I mean, when we investigate the properties of nature, and we do get some answers, all the answers are in terms of particular structures, forms, patterns. And these can be measured, and their behavior can be predicted.